Good morning. It is 5.39. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going back to the project we started yesterday, the driveway, and we are going to pour it. It's going to be two separate pours. It's not too big. We could do it all in one, but I'm going to chop it up into really small squares. So we're going to do it in two pours, one at 8 o'clock and one at noon. A couple shout outs this morning. The first one goes out to Heather Adams. Uh, she owns a small business and she makes things like she sent me right here. This is pretty awesome. All kinds of stuff she sent me. She sent me some stickers, but uh, some earrings for the ladies, uh, decorations for hanging on your rearview mirror, dog tags, keychains, just very, very cool stuff. So I wanted to say thank you for that. And she is a small business owner. If you're interested in anything like you see here, you can reach out on her website and it is sunshine-designed.com so reach out to her for that but thank you very much and then i wanted to give a thank you to mr david from applegate california i just want to say thank you for the gift i really appreciate it and yes there will be some videos of us removing brush all right i'm gonna take this trash out i'll see you guys at the coffee shop time to go to work how much garbage do we make? Good work. I did it. Good, how are you? Thank you. 602, just pulling up by the new land. I just wanted to check out the gate that they started to install last night, right when I was leaving. And apparently they're all done with it. Pretty cool. Finally, we got a gate. I gotta get some dumpsters over here, start dealing with this big pile of junk. All these little trees and bushes and junk, they're all entangled in all those lines. You can kind of see that. Such a mess. It's just been growing like this for who knows how many years. Stuff is just thick. It's a jungle. Well, hopefully he'll see this and not run this over. Little utility box back here. Anyways, I gotta get back to work. It is 6.15, just pulling into the yard and bugs is here, big rays here. And I think that's it so far. So this morning, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna tell these guys you know when everybody gets here just go to the job i forgot to measure yesterday for concrete so i got to get there early and measure for our first pour oh look at big ray brought his bike you did it you know it's, it was a lot easier yeah see you're getting yeah. in getting in shape i left at 5 30 last time got here at 607 this time i left at 5 40 yeah and i got here at 607 man that's there you go. crazy <laughs> I was thinking uh, yesterday, I was looking at my bike. I was like, man, I should get some new tubes in the tires and I can start riding too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did five miles in five and a quarter, so yeah. yours is a little closer. I think it's like four something. Yeah, mine's closer. Yeah. Hey, I got to leave right away. I didn't measure for concrete yesterday. I'll see you down there. So whenever they get here, just come to the job. I'll see you down there. All right. I got to get out of here. I know uh, Francisco and Eric were doing a side job last night, so I hope they show up on time and ready to work. That's the only thing that concerns me with the side jobs. Guys work late and then they're tired and then they don't show up on time or don't show up at all. So far, it really hasn't been a problem, but it's still a bit of a fear of mine. Ryan's here. We don't need any of the trucks. You can just go to the job. I got to go right away because I got to measure it. I forgot to measure it. I just pulled out and Eric just pulled up. So, no problem there. Six forty two just pulled up to the job. I left before everybody else, and they didn't sweep for nothing 
There's rocks all over the street. It just amazes me that when I leave, whenever I leave, it's like stuff just doesn't get done right. I do not understand. Everybody knows what my expectations are, but somehow when I leave, nobody cares. So this is what we got going on today. It's not a big driveway, um, but we have a flow line here. So we're gonna have to strike and be real careful here. Make sure we get the water out this way. And then we have a break, as you can see right there. The rest of that water is going to head in that direction. So we're going to cut this up real small. I'm going to do a center joint down this driveway. It's only eight feet wide, but I'm going to cut a center joint anyway. And then we'll cut this up. First pour, we'll go up to the corner of this stoop. And I'll have a super easy second pour. Before the end of the day, we got to sweep the road because apparently nobody swept the road yesterday for no apparent reason. Yeah, I, I know that. I could tell as soon as I pulled up that everybody was in a hurry and they just decided, let's get out of here, who cares? Ryan's not here. That's the attitude when I leave and I don't like it at all. And I'm gonna say something about it today. Everybody wants to go do their side job so they don't wanna sweep the road because they wanna get off and do their own little thing. That's not cool. Not in my book. No, sir. Morning. Morning. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. And you're still not planning on helping at all? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes. I have about eight o'clock. Thank you. But concrete's ordered. It's one of the big benefits of having all my equipment paid for, not having payments and being straddled with debt is I don't have that crazy pressure to pound out work as fast as we used to years ago. I just don't have that pressure anymore. We can work at a at a nice steady pace. I make money, I'm happy, the guys are happy. They still have time to you know, have lives of their own after work. I pay them really good. Even though we don't work a massive amount of hours, they still get paid really good. So everybody's happy and everything's going good. So we just gotta keep it going. Mesh is in, we're pretty much ready to go. Still waiting for Eric and Francisco to show up with the form truck. Yeah, Big Ray, me and you are going to, uh, we're going to start a bicycle gang. Awesome. Forget the motorcycle gang, me and you, buddy. <laughs> we'll be rolling. We'll have our own patches and everything. Good. <laughs> victory. <laughs> Big victory patch on the leather. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. No, I really am. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get my bike fixed, man. You inspired me for real. I like riding bikes. And then my wife and I, we went on that bike ride. You know, in Door County, uh, it was electric assist, which is a lot nicer, but it was still really nice, you know. It's not a bike ride when there's a motor on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Look how tired he is. Look at him, he's out of walking like... You know what, I ain't tired. No, I had to... You want a heavy duty? <laughs> no, not today. Give him that heavy <laughs> no, just give me the light duty ones today, thank you. What's that? Oh, thank you. I'll put it in my truck. Hey, just so you know, I was disappointed you guys didn't sweep the road nice here. I'm just letting you know. No, it's not. It's swept half-heartedly. It's really bad. It's got to get swept again. Okay. If I leave, make sure you guys do a nice job, just like as if I was here. I would go like, I would go like this if it was me. Because sometimes what happens is the, the front tire will hit that, and then it will bend the back of the plywood up, and then the back tire hits the lip then. So... And just go like this and you're good you could use a couple more two by fours to level it off but you don't need them i mean that's not a problem really sure. it's up to One you more. it would be nice it would be nice who uses the van i do oh i had one of those a long time ago and i had it parked right by my house on the street a guy in a pickup truck came about 45 miles an hour <laughs> pow just nailed it Spun it around and pushed it up into my neighbor's yard and totaled it. Yeah. yeah, we really liked the van though. It was nice. Stop fighting, you guys. Thank you. That's your favorite phrase. Yeah. Now you and Ray, the most calm guys, fighting already. Seven in the morning. You better watch out. Ray could pick you up and body slam you. Oh, and then my foot. I can then, run away. Oh, run away if he got a hold of you, speed. he would suplex you so fast you won't even know what happened. You would stand up with birds spinning I around your head, just like a cartoon. Ray at half speed. Oh, yeah. right in your heart, Ray. You better start bicycling every day so you can catch up to Ryan. What'd you say? I don't know. Did I say something? No. <laughs> what did you say about your diet? I lost it. 
He lost the diet already? Man, that Ray. He only lasted two, not even two days? I know. Day and a I'll half. I'll back again today. All right, I start off. <laughs> well, if you keep biking like that, you can eat whatever you feel like. Yeah? Francisco, come up here with your hammer and nail pouch. We got to fix one of these forms. I got toenail a little crooked. You should fix that, but that's not what I was looking at. This one here, it's way out of square. I'll just stop. I'll get a car that's and pull this loose and bring it in. Yeah, right here, right. Because the joint's coming right here. You're gonna see that the joint's going straight, and then the board's like, burp. Okay. We need it nice and square. There's gonna be plenty of squares for everybody to finish who wants to finish Ooh. today. Can I help you? Tools. You said don't buy none unless I talk to you. Well, what did you want to buy? Everything. Uh, is that enough? Well, buy yourself a, because your hammer is like Toys R Us hammer. I got a lot of hammers. I got, I got so all my tools at home. Get your, I, don't, I don't bring my nose. So get yourself a nice like S-Wing hammer. I got a hammer. A good one? I got a really good one. Okay. What are you thinking? Finishing tools? Yeah. I would I would get the Marshall Town float. You got one handy? I'll bring my no, tool right belt there. next time. All right, I'm gonna mark the joints for the rest of the driveway so I don't have to do that Thanks. later. You guys ready for the inspirational email of the day? I get these emails on the daily basis. I'll just give you one inspirational email. You ready? Yep. Okay, it starts off. It's fit. It says, you are delusional. So that's what? delusional. So that's encouraging. They're talking to me. You are del or <laughs> delusional. delusional. Yeah. So it starts off. You are delusional living in a bubble where everything and everyone around you is positive, having morals, showing respect and going to church on a Sunday. People like you who think that like that get hit the hardest when negativity hits you face on. You like it or not, that's a fact. So please stop pretending that your world is perfect. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little positivity this morning. <laughs> Encouragement, you know. <laughs> Thank you whoever sent that email. You're just, man, just a, a bowl full of joy. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Yeah, they're probably the most miserable person. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's okay. what. Do you have time to write that? Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Sit down and yeah. write. Oh, oh, right. you want to write here? <laughs> the the interesting thing is like. People that are miserable, when they see pe people that are actually enjoying their lives, it drives them absolutely crazy. It drives them nuts. People that are doing good. It drives the negative people nuts. They want everybody to be miserable just like them and feel the way that they do. Instead of them changing their lives and becoming positive, they'd rather drag everybody else down. I'm 46 years old, they act like I've never faced any hard times. Like, you have no idea. That could be our crew nicknamed the Delusionals. <laughs> Instead of the Incredibles, we're the Delusionals. <laughs> We could get t-shirts and everything. <laughs> yes, on the new website. <laughs> the delusionals. <laughs> we could integrate that into our uh, bicycle gang too. Delusionals. Delusionals, yeah. yeah. We're starting a bicycle gang. I want to join. Me or, yeah. Leather jackets. Oh, on the back. you would have to have one of the lowrider bikes. Yeah. Which are airbags and nuts. The big dangle balls. Yeah, yeah. Little dingles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the real shiny gold <laughs> rims <laughs> with the banana seat. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, you and Francisco. Oh, Francisco! You got your little Bluetooth speaker. And it's funny because I do Going? have a lowrider in the back in, in my baby. I do have one. I All right, yeah. The delusionist. The delusionist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then you no, we're, like it too. we're starting a bicycle gang though. We're gonna wear leather vest, delusionals on the back. <laughs> Hey, you and him are gonna drive uh, low riders. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a tricycle, low riders. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of? Hey, hey, hey like this. Ryan. delusional you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what kind of bike would Bugs ride though? The Harley. <laughs> he would need one with of those the, with the big things like this. <laughs> he's like this sticking up. <laughs> with the with the real fat tires. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the skinny one in the front. Oh, and the like skinny one in the front. Like <laughs> oh, side, side car for Jade. Oh yeah, side car for Jade. Look <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to take Annie with me. Yeah. yeah. Annie, <laughs> Annie on a leash with a Look big spike one. collar. Happy birthday. <laughs> Look at that John Deere one. 212. I was like looking for you. I was like, Ryan wants one. $200,000 there? Look at the bulldoze. Oh, that's not a bulldoze. That's a backhoe. You're going to be buying stuff. You don't even know what it's called. Hey, look. Cutting, Joe. <laughs> Saw cutting. Hey. Uh, Saw cutting. Just give me that <laughs> one. Oh. Saw cutting. Hey. Saw cutting. He's like, just, just give me that just... one. <laughs> Saw cutting. Oh. That's what you need, bro. Saw cutting. Let's <laughs> give it to this. <laughs> he pulls up to the job. <laughs> Let me is... the <laughs> All right. And it's only a sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> the homeowner's like, <laughs> he holds the water like this big. Just Look like, at that thing! Oh, yeah. Eric just walks in there like a big shot. He's like, I'll take that thing over there. <laughs> it's like, which one? I don't know what's it called. The the uh, the yellow one. <laughs> Come on with the the head. The one, yeah, the, that one yeah. that goes like this. You gotta go and do a bulldozer though too. They're gonna be like, I'm second in command. I'm the second. I'm the second most. I'm the second most delusional. Yeah, we get to. You know, we're pretty famous. We have different levels of delusion. We have different patches. Like five star delusional. Like you're crazy. You're crazy. You ready, Jay? Concrete's coming. No, it's still like 20 minutes away. Oh, you get it. It's no, our truck's not here. That's a that's a weed whacker, brother. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a chainsaw. That's not what I heard. It's a chainsaw. That's not what I heard. Concrete's here. Why is he gonna cut a tree? Oh, I hope that tree don't fall right. Down. Oh, this oh, looks this dangerous. Oh, I need to video oh, this. Oh, this is like the stuff you see on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's yeah. like, this ah! like gone wrong, tree cutting gone wrong. Look at one hand. Let's see if he knows what he's doing. Right over his head with the chainsaw. That looks really dangerous. Oh, that's what you see though, as the branch comes down, kicks the ladder out, and then they go down. It could happen on this one. This guy doesn't know what he's doing, clearly. He's like, never mind, I get it with my hand. <laughs> Oh man, thank goodness he's going down. Yeah, he's I don't want to see nothing like that this morning. I'm going to pick up a deck of cards tonight mm -hmm. so we can put it on our bikes. Mm -hmm. the little playing cards on, on the spokes. Bike, Grrr. Did I bring it? I'm not Did you used to do that when you were a kid? Oh yeah. Yeah, put the cards on the so spokes. Did you ever do that? Yeah, I oh yeah. Know. I think every oh, kid did every that. Kid did that. <laughs> yeah. I even put them in the front. Yeah. yeah. The front. front and the back. Yeah, Trying to make it loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got one of his vibrating tilt heads for the oh, bull float. Oh, look at this. Vibrator for the bull float? Yeah. Those things work awesome, man. This is, a, this is the best one on the market, too. The Pro Tilt. It's going to mainly be used... I mean, the tilt head is supposed to be really good, but the vibrating part we'll use mainly for stamped concrete. Concrete's here! Try to pour it at about a six ish five to six somewhere in there i'm not gonna pour dry today because it's hot and i do have a little bit of nca six and a half bag right on me ray yeah right on me again ray i wasn't trying to <laughs> man Two gallons and we're going for it.
on the hose. That's the hose nozzle? Yeah. The, the thing, turn it off and turn it back on. So you broke it. I broke it. Look at how weak this thing is. Look at that thing. Man. That was a good one too. I liked it. Oh, on his little green thing? Yeah. Oh, it's not even ours. Concrete's all done, bull floated. Everything's looking good. Bugs is working on the curb. Guys are edging. I'm gonna snap lines, start cutting joints. Got a little time. It's still pretty wet. I can't even cut the joints quite yet. That curb's got a little bulge in it. If you stand over there, you can see. Yeah, it went in a little Like bit. right here, it's a little fatter well, it's, than there. It's pretty consistent all the way through. It looks like this narrowed out here, Ryan. Yeah, and that's I'll what. Put some more in there when I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm picky. I'm picky, man. Now you can break how humble you are. You, ma you wash hey, another man's feet. Hey, hey. Please wash Thank you. I must do this. <laughs> I, I must do this. <laughs> Francisco, are you gonna snap lines with me? Yes, yeah, I'll do it. All right, we'll get this long center one in. Oh, yeah. I need the tape measure. The arrow got washed off. Whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, Eric, go ahead and snap your side. Snap your side. I once fired a guy because he was taking so long on tying a string. You almost fired him? No, I did. So I was close? Yeah, you were like this close. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. no, I really did. Well, he had been driving me crazy for weeks. And then he started lipping off to me and he said something, he talked back to me. And I was already really mad. And then he starts playing with the string and I was like, you're done. And then he was crying, I need my job. I was like, you should have thought about that before you talk back. What do you want me to dump that? In what the sewer. Do, do half in the sewer and half in the neighbor's bushes and oh, neither one will own it. You know that, you know that house He's looking on the road? serious, like you know that's that not a bad idea. You know that house on the road? <laughs> Is that your oh, name? that one that's all meticulous. Yeah. Right across the street. That one. Th yeah. Yeah, look at that. yeah it's that super nice. Right the they, oh, they got planters. If you get it in the planter, they won't see. <laughs> <laughs> what if you start doing that? Imagine oh. the neighbors. You see that is all perfect. That's nice. I can't imagine the guy that would come out and start yelling what he looks like. He'd be like, no, you did it. <laughs> My boss told me to. <laughs> He's delusional. Customer did not like the curb. That's why we just did that. Buck said, you like my curb? And the guy said, no. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> yeah, so we fixed it. Now he said it's a 10 out of 10. So I think we're good now. I had to order Buck some antidepressants from Walgreens. <laughs> Yeah, he goes, he goes, you like my curve, brother? And the guy's like, no, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Bug's pretty broken hearted, but he'll get over by tomorrow. See, he's delusional. He put duct tape on his calves for no reason. Bugs, why do you got duct tape around your calves? Because when I wear my mud boots, it rubs them raw. Oh, okay. I thought you were losing it. <laughs> we all are. This joint is uh, it's really crooked up there, right where Eric is. I told him they got to get on it with a with a strike off because I had that car in the way. My handle was hitting the car, and I just I just could not get it straight up there. Right rear joiner is go from there to about a foot past the second joint. See that? Yeah, I see how it hooks right there. We got to get that nice. Concrete setting really slow, which is surprising because it's warm. It's about 80. The sun's hitting it. Six and a half bag with a quarter percent NCA. And it's still wet. Wet, wet. Hello. Hello. You do it the old school way, huh? Oh, I love it when I can hang outside. Yeah, it's beautiful out. Oh hey, I want you to stop being so happy. Why? Because <laughs> it makes people angry. <laughs> Oh Don't be happy anymore, okay? <laughs> oh, uh, y yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> when you used to work, did you have good boss? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, once they find that, you ain't gonna get rid of them. 
called homeless. I had my food hanging from a tree. They crawled the tree. The ants? Oh. They down the road. Oh, man. <laughs> Ryan says Jay has ants in her food. I don't think ants are bad to eat though. I think people eat like chocolate covered ants and stuff. I think I've heard of that. Are you eating the ants? Tell me the truth. Let's go see. Oh yeah. Yeah, yep. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of ants in there. Look at that. That looks so delicious. She doesn't like them. She sees them. She ain't gonna eat that. See, she won't eat it. She's like, can you please get rid of these ants? Jade's smart. She don't wanna eat those. Would you eat those if it was crawling over all your food? Yeah. You would? Dude. Ray's tired from washing the road. The sun's beating on you, you know what I'm saying? And you get the reflection from the water and it's hot. And we're just kneeling, doing, oh, stop, 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 stop. That's not, that's not how the joint's gonna go. Are you gonna go straight? You know, you gotta put on 45 like we always do, just like that. You gotta jab that and get rocks in there. Is there a little handful of concrete? Put the concrete in there, because otherwise it'll crack through anyway. That email was funny, right, Ryan? Basically the guy said, you guys should stop being so happy. And look at that ant. Can you move? <laughs> He's moving. Like off the sled. He's like, man, this driveway is way nicer than the old one. <laughs> it's not even as hot. You gotta be a little bit more aggressive, with Big Ray. You want to be aggressive? Yeah, you gotta like show the pin who's boss. I don't want to mess up something. You don't want to be mean to the pin? What we'd say is you swing like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I said it in a nice way. <laughs> Easy money. That looks real nice. Real, real nice. I guess it's not my opinion that matters. What do you think, boss? All right. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Compared to the old one, especially. Those are some little, 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 little squares. Some of the squares by Ray, they're actually a touch under four feet. Look at this, man! What? Tore my curb apart! Oh! oh no, you did not. Oh! Oh, 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 oh Ray, oh, look oh, at this. Fire him, I got him. <laughs> I wasn't even. I got him. Go get the day one, edger, joiner. <laughs> Uh, two by four. Get the go get the ball flow. Ray never gets a hard time, right, Ray? <laughs> We're not perfect, but we are delusional. The delusionals? Oh, I could make a T-shirt out of that. Delusional stream. Where's the dowel? Yes, that could be your. Yeah, while well, it's wet, yeah. You can make a new street on your new land. Oh, yeah. And, and call it uh, Delusional Place. Yep, Delusional Place, yeah. <laughs> we'll put a place in the back of a car like the Lowriders. Delusional. <laughs> we'll have keychains, dog tags, t shirts. Put some dolls here from one pour to the next, and then we're pretty much ready to pour. That's your kind of truck. That's the kind of truck Francisco loves. Right. You should see the uh, uh, box that I built to it. I'm bringing it tomorrow. Box? A big box. A For what? 15s. Oh, speaker box. Hard, dude. <sighs> see, right? From the outside, is all you hear is the license plate. <laughs> right? <laughs> you made a video out of it? Man. No, I was in Instagram. I'm in a truck show. Truck club, I mean. Oh, yeah. Big Ray, we're going to go get some food. Bye. So Thank we'll you. see you in a little while. <laughs> Clean up everything. You're looking at it like you want to take it for a spin. <laughs> oh, you're staring at it pretty hard. Oh, my goodness.
truck's so clean, man. Oh my God, it's so clean. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is the cleanest truck I've ever been in. Hey, Mr. Hendrix, Steve, how can you help you? Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Hey, Ryan. Hey, I have a 12 o'clock concrete sorter. Uh oh, why is concrete calling me back? Victory, this is Ryan. Hey, Ryan, hey, Ryan Steve, did you still want the NCA in there this afternoon? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. No All right, way. thank you. Okay, you bet. Bye. NCA? Eric, it's like seven yards. Eric really wants our. Seven yards. And it's just straight. Okay, if we lose it, then I'm not oh, If we lose seven yards, I'm going out of business today. <laughs> Tanya, I have a little, one little thing. Dries up. I'm quitting concrete. I'm going out of it. Yeah. Probably pump gas. Hey, I can pump the gas. We don't pump gas here in Wisconsin. You have to move to New Jersey. Yeah, and Mexico. <laughs> they do that oh, in Mexico? They use buckets. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. They do. Eric, stop it. That's decoration, man. It's like a it's like a necklace. I wear concrete boogers on my hair and my skin. <laughs> yeah. I try to take it off. He's like, stop it. But we're, when we're rolling in a gang, people will need to see that. Oh, yeah. Like this. We should make our arms look like your boots. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging off. We're too much. Our, <laughs> oh, Eric. For real, dude? There goes all your horchata. I'm gonna go buy another one. They were just talking about how good it is, and look it. Man. We just ate. It was really good. We're gonna clean up the concrete that spilled over the form there when we had to redo the curb. Bugs neglects his dog, makes her eat ants. Huh? He makes her eat ants for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. She comes on every job site. Oh, she does? Every day. Oh, my God. Oh, he goes like this, though. Every day, yep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love old couples. They're so funny. He was on a diet yesterday, not today. I know. Yeah. That was a that was a whole day ago. Yeah. <laughs> Concrete's here. That's way too stiff. Put in a put in four gallons. I made some puppies. Oh wow. And this is for the dog. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put this in the shade right now, but oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, the neighbor made you guys cookies. Hey. Cookies! I'm gonna put them over here. And Bug, she said this is for your dog. How is it now? Still stiff? Bug wants to go home. Leave it, brother. Here, get off the mesh. Nobody can pull the mesh with you on it. Not even a crane. Go for a <laughs> We're gonna be on this stuff like right away. That's how it feels anyway. Yeah. We got a lot left? Yeah. Oh. That's not as bad as some of your other days though. We gotta get that little flag for the little mountain again. Mount Ray. For a dollar? Yeah. yeah, we'll fill it in. No problem. Are you keeping Jade hydrated? Yeah. All right, good work. All right, Jade? This concrete is really sticky, dude. Look at the joint. Oh my. It ain't it ain't it ain't closing at all. We might need day one for real. Yeah. We had the day one, the gallon somewhere, right? I'm pretty sure we did. We might need it here. This stuff is nasty. Yes. Oh, this is the oh, big the one. Edge. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gave me this one. You said we're using only We just all have to get on the same page like either... You bought me this one, remember? You said we're buying we're getting these. We've been switching. We went from the small to the big to the small. And now some are using the big and some are using the small. Right, right, right. I think that's bigger than three quarters. 
Oh. Ray, what do you have? I would guess that's an inch. <laughs> I think we need to consult with the board. I'll talk to Daniel tonight. There you go. Like, yeah. Hmm. You, you should take everybody's and decide. Yeah. It should be like, no, not this <laughs> one. Not this one. This one. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask Daniel tonight. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that. See how the concrete moves like that? It's really bad. It's really bad. It's got no moisture on the top, but it's all sponge underneath. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? I have an idea. Eric, bring the ball flow with one handle. It's really bad, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna hit the surface with day one and ball float it in real quick. I think that'll help a lot. We gotta do something, because that concrete is awful. We got to do it today. Got to do it. It's called day one finishing aid. Hot water. Hot water, yeah. It's hot water. <laughs> and muriatic acid yeah, mixture. It's chlorine. <laughs> Bleach, muriatic acid, and, and calcium chloride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we both loaded it, I cut the joints, we day one the whole thing, both loaded the day one in, I hit the joints again. This stuff is really weird, it's just not setting up. It feels like it has a retarder in there. So I just got off the phone with Alan Power Buggy. Uh, the only thing we don't like about this buggy so far is the dump speed is slow and it's causing a lot of splashing more than it should. So I talked to them and I guess this right here, if you take this off, there's an Allen head screw in there and you can adjust the flow to the ram for the bucket. So we're gonna go ahead, it's very simple fix, take about five minutes and we'll get that adjusted. Not today, but at least I know it can be fixed easily now. So that's awesome. Your head was ready to pop. Yeah. He's so nervous stripping forms now. Well, he should be. <laughs> he should be. Now we gotta finish stuff twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I got it. No, no, I need a day one. Oh boy. Ryan's losing the threshold. Can you do? Oh, that was a little bit of a joke. It was a joke? What did you do it right? Well, I don't know where I was supposed to go to the bottom. I just went to the bottom of this case. Kind of. Let me see. Door. Yeah, you're pretty close. Go scrape some cream from the bottom of the driveway and put it in here. See, there's a little gap. Oh. Why don't you get a yeah, get a bunch, man. You're gonna need a bunch. About a half a yard. You're gonna need half a yard. Yeah, for the threshold. Easy money. A lot of them. I got more joints on this job than Eric put in his whole life on any job. That's true, right? Yeah. <laughs> I won't argue with that. Picking up all the little rocks and the grass, make sure everything is absolutely perfect here. I have to like adjust the pants like really sharp because they weren't going in. I don't know what you're talking about, Eric. <laughs> what happened here, man? I just blew the whole slab off and you just act like it's a, what, uh, a lumber factory? No. Man, I'll go get the blower again. Look at these guys on the brand new driveway. <laughs> the guy's really happy he paid, even though he was very observant. We'll say it that way. 
he paid me and he's really happy with the work. So that's good. Is this our hose? Doesn't matter, we'll take it anyways. You're right. We broke your thing here. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. You can keep ours if you want. We could trade. <laughs> Is that fair? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you this one. I don't want a Google review. You know what I'm saying? One stars. Victory broke my hose end. This is yours? Yeah, that's mine. This is his? I think it's ours. You want to fight for it? What's wrong? Why? What do you want me to do with the bottom? Do you need me to do it? Did I ever show you the finger trick? Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah. I'm also seeing why your fingers are so cracked. They're so what? Cracked. Oh, I don't care if they're cracked and dry. Mom loves when my hands are dry. Yeah, right. The drier the better. <laughs> What's so funny? What you're doing. It's what? I gotta make it good. I can't have these holes. Oh, uh, all this gravel, Ray? <sighs> I gotta get home and, and uh, milk the cows, Ray. Right? Same. Same? Gotta get those chickens. <sighs> okay, so leave that end on. I'm trading the guy end for end because you broke his. Okay. I'll take this off your check. I think I paid uh, $99.99 for that. Yo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I saw yeah. $99.99. It's coming off your check. All cleaned up. Customer's happy. And he paid. That job was a little bit more work than I expected. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's hot, but it felt like a lot of work today and it really wasn't that much concrete. So I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's Thursday. Adios, Ray. Adios. Okay. Adios. Adios. There you go. Nice driveway. Beautiful. I said yesterday that I wanted to stop at my dad's house because we're really close, but I just didn't have time yesterday. So we're gonna head over there now. I'm literally only a couple minutes away. My dad has been on a couple videos already. Some people said, how come your dad's never on the videos? Oh, he lives way over here on the south side. We don't see each other very often just because of the distance. And that's just the way that it is. But we have a great relationship. I have a great relationship with my stepmom as well. But We'll stop over there and say hi. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good, how about you? Good, did you know I was coming? Well, he told me. Oh, just a couple minutes ago? Yeah. All right. I just got done working a couple yeah. minutes ago. Okay, you're dancing. We poured a driveway. A big driveway or little? It was kind of in the middle. Oh. It was very easy though. Oh, of course it yeah, was. Yeah, of course it was. Just like that uh, Motel 8 or whatever it was. Right? Super 8? That was very you easy. Leave Leave it open? You got your camera on. Is the red light on? Yeah, yeah. That means it's off. Oh, good. No, yeah. That means when it's flashing, it's off. You can't fool me. Oh, he can fool me. You can't fool uh, me. Glad you stopped yeah. over. Yep, thank you for the food. Okay, we're going to stop over by your land. Uh, well, with you. Uh, yeah, with you over there, there, and I'm going to bring a bucket of balls and a driver so you can okay. get some balls out Yeah, of oh, that sounds fine. And then we're, who will catch them? Well, we'll just let the boys pick up the balls when they're out there. Yeah, right. When they have nothing to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, well, well thank you. Okay. All right, bye. 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 I will. Thank you very much. Well, that was nice. You have to spend like 45 minutes with them. Just don't get to see them very often, so that's always nice. And they gave me some food. Got to chat for a while. I'm gonna head to the land and check on Carlito's progress today. He was there all day again today, so there should be a bunch more done. All right, I'm just pulling into the new land, checking on the day's progress. This is kind of fun, fun for me. He got some cleared back there. This morning when we came here, this telephone or whatever that is, I don't even know what those are some kind of telephone cable junction box or whatever that was deep in the trees and now i can see it oh there's two of them <laughs> there's two of them actually look at these gems nice 
what does that say? Fred Flintstone. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Oh, he cleared all the way back down there too to the cul-de-sac. Yeah, he cleared this whole tree line. He did quite a bit, actually, because this stuff was thick in here. We got one tree here. We got one tree there. You know, they're too big to just push over with the skid loader. So we'll cut those down and pull the roots out. It's coming together. It's pretty exciting. He cleared all the way down to the corner of the property, which is right here and then across this way. Those are those giant concrete beams that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. Probably going to have to hire another company to deal with those because I don't have any equipment capable of moving those or even breaking those. I have nothing. And you already know that those things are absolutely filled with giant rebar. That's a given. So, I don't know, a big excavator could probably break them up or... I don't know. I have no idea what to do with these things, but they gotta go, obviously. Maybe we could roll them and just roll them into the neighbor's property across the street or something. Anyways, it's pretty cool, you know, seeing the progress every day. Um, it's come a long way already, and we haven't been working on it all that long. So we're just gonna keep chiseling away at this land and working it and clearing and grading. I have the grading plan. So once I get the go-ahead from Menominee Falls, we can actually start grading. Uh, it's pretty exciting, you know, we're going to go over to the first building pad, shoot the heights, get some elevations, you know, bring in stone and kind of level off a pad. So when we get to go ahead for a building, you know, we can finish grade and, and get that going right away. It's pretty awesome. And it's only, you know, the end of June right now. Well, that's it for today. It's hot now. It's about 90 degrees. Hot for us. Um, tomorrow, like I said, we're going to start a patio. Should be a good Friday, relatively easy. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.